at least for the second game, at least they have to get an early damage here. At least maybe from Lilia for the mid lane. Maybe. Because Cyclops is a one, a one enough for Slovenia. I think the idea is that they want to have a lot of ways to engage. Yeah. With the Cyclops, they can engage with the Popo and Koopa as well. Mm -hmm. But I think it just, uh, it's a bit too one-dimensional. So for, for the Philippines, they recognize the fact that Slovenia wants to go for those early pickoffs. Mm -hmm. They get that Franco out of the equation because it is a very much more dynamic engage tool. And for Slovenia, that is uh, a respect ban for none other than Soriano. On that Beatrix, an absolute menace. How much was it? A thousand and a hundred gold per minute? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. They don't want to deal with that at all. I think that's the highest gold per minute though. But yeah, there's no bad tricks for Soriano. There is uh, no Digi as well for Ooh. Slovenia. Okay, so there's gonna Kaja. I think there will be Kaja. Kaja. Open for Philippine. But there's no Atlas. Slovenia, they're still not banning out the Kaja. Hmm. The Kaja has been very, very impactful in the right Agreed. situations. If you want to oh. go for those pickoffs, it's definitely an option. Wow. Philippines has gone for that Martis ban though, because it is a very, very oppressive jungler that requires your whole team to adjust oh. to that pick. And not only Kaja, you know. You know, there's one one as well. Mm. There's one one for Philippines, so they they have a lot of option here. Slovenia, they are on the edge right now. Which one they have to ban? Is it gonna be Leomor? Is it gonna be a Benedetta maybe from Dapadap? Or is it gonna be Wen Wen? If they don't want to take a risk, I think Wen Wen or maybe Kaja. Oh, but Gushin. it's gonna be Gushin, so wow. Slovenia, they want to contest this. They want to contest the the op, this both OP hero such as Kaja and also um, Wen Wen. But Wen Wen is gonna be the prior. For Sorario. So Soriano. Soriano. Sorry. So Very confusing name, Momo Chan. Yeah, it's completely I know. understandable. But Soriano will have his Soriano. hands on mm -hmm. that 1 1. That is a bit dangerous, okay. but we'll see if Slovenia has a plan. That's kind of As you mentioned, Momo Chan, they yes. have opted to leave a few heroes open, and being the second pick, they have more chances to secure some of these quote-unquote OP heroes. Mm -hmm. That will be the Kaja, and that will be Ooh. the Carmilla that we saw was banned in game number one by them, actually. Yeah, it's... Uh, Oof. Those are very strong pick from Slovenia, but fast pick from Philippine. They have this Farja and also Guinevere, which is this very unique as well, because we it's, it's been a long time, we never see Guinevere back to the lane of sound. Jungle Gwyn? I don't... If I was Slovenia right now, I'll be quite concerned. They picked that Farsa and Guinevere way too fast for my liking, man. Oh they have no. a plan 100%. And for Slovenia, they were hovering over the Sicilian and now the Lunox. So wanting some kind of long-range artillery, some kind of DPS from that midside to supplement the gold lane damage, it will be the Lunox eventually. A lot more output potential, more security yeah. with the Brilliance Order. Even though, even with the burst damage coming from the Chaos Assault as well, right? Yes. The purple damage is very, very painful, especially if you already have your combination item between the Lightning Truncheon and also Clock of Destiny. It will give more damage for this Lunox, but Parsha is going to be the high ground hero for Philippines, so it's going to be a homework for Lunox to dive in and try to shut down that Farsha, but there's no Grok as a second banning phase from Slovenia. Slovenia now, banning out that Grok. I guess with the Kaja and with the Carmilla, mm -hmm. they want to be able to get those engages, that crowd control, and Grok has CC immunity. And the other options are Martis as well as Diggy, so maybe this is a working game plan. Mm -hmm. We're now back into the second drafting phase, uh, banning phase, so for the Philippines, what else do they want to take away? Maybe some assassin, some dive potential? They do have very vulnerable backline members depending on the situation. And the Esmeralda will be the ban. Is this hinting at a Mathilda perhaps? Yeah, I know. But Esmeralda here. Let's see. There's no Esmeralda. Is it gonna be... Povius? Oh, Fovius. Fovius? Because... Wait. They can bend out the Fovius as well if they want to because Slovenia is going to be the first that pick. 
the Povius, but it's not a Povius. It's gonna be Leomord. Leo it's interesting. Horseman. But Hayabusa is gonna be the shadow pick. They bought out that Leslie, and they bought out the card uh, Akai. I guess they just want a very aggressive, a very uh, hero with a lot of kill potential in the jungle. Leomord and Hayabusa can both work, but right now. I really do feel like they need a bit more engage and or catch. Mm -hmm. Fanny as well being hovered on here. It is a hero with a very, very high skill ceiling though. So we have to see how well can Slovenia actually put it to use. It will be the Hayabusa though. A bit more outplay potential. And now in a way, similar way, there's the crossbow of tank and there's the shadow kill. They can be dodged away depending on the item builds yeah, as well. It could be the answer as well for Slovenia because uh, we haven't found Maybe only Lunox can dive in into the back line of the Philippines, right? Because, you know, he has to use the Brilliant of Order, then change it into the Chaos Assault so he can take down Varsha at the back line. But with Hayabusa, with the Quad Shadow and also the Shadow Kill, Varsha could be the target for Slovenia. But the last hmm. two picks from Philippines, it's gonna be Ruby and also Fredrin. So if you wanna go for a dive situation, Against the Philippines roster right now, this is very, very dangerous. But Slovenia goes for the Popo and Koopa yet again. If they put all their attention into that gold lane, it is a very dangerous situation for Soriano. 1-1, mm -hmm. as Mirko loves to mention, is very vulnerable in the early laning phase. And if you can shut her down in the early stages, the mid game becomes very, very rough as well. So off the bat, I, I, I oh. must say that if we're talking about early game aggression, mm -hmm. Slovenia has it. It all will come down to the execution, Momochan. Okay, it's interesting because Philippines, they have a lot of uh, crowd control here. Yes. They have this Ruby with the I'm offended. They have Guinevar as well. They have this Frederick with the taunting. So I think it's hard from Slovenia because Philippines, they already uh, prepared the strategy. They ban out the D in the first banning phase. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they know that uh, they want to secure all the crowd control hero here to win the second game. So it's going to be the homework for Slovenia. They really need to f to finish their item as soon as possible so they can give more damage to Philippines. The Farsa pick as well is a lot of pressure in the yeah. mid side. Wave clear but also long range utility and burst damage. Especially if your team has fishies, which there are on the Slovenian side. They'll be very dangerous. And now let's just get straight into the Land of Dawn for game number two between the Philippines and Slovenia. As we can see, both junglers just going for very, very fast clears, but the Philippines seem to have a plan up their sleeve. Okay, we will see what will Slovenia do with this draft in the early game, but Arakil is going to be the first target that will be got Baron in the top lane. Meanwhile, there's some rotation coming from Slovenia going into the river area so hang on is XP lean Kaja we have to see how effective that is for sure but he will be the main playmaking hero but look at that shadow kill I mean triple shadow quad shadow by this uh, by the Hayabusa actually does a lot of damage and it's a big skirmish breaking out between the two teams see that Rimuru is forced to back away flicker away but the chase is done and Imam picks up a kill Philippines are not done yet oh. though, they're cutting back and forth, but that is a kill picked up by Visao on the Hayabusa. And that will be an equal trade more or less, but the Filipinos are definitely the aggressors in this situation. Yeah, they are trying to give him a pressure and Dapadap is looking for more. He tried to shut down that Ara kill. Oh, he cancelled the recall and he tried to regen his HP. Meanwhile, Oof. maybe Dapadap still have a chance, no. I think the Dapadap also doesn't want to take a risk. It's a very dangerous situation to overstay with low HP, mm -hmm. especially against a team that is known to punish that, and especially against a Farsa in the mid lane. Mm -hmm. The wings by wings will be dangerous, but now, Slovenia strikes back. They do a lot of damage to Dapadap, but he's able to actually make it out of there alive, as the turtle seems to be the main priority for both these teams. And without Dapadap, can the Filipinos do something? The Federal Airstrike has been used already. No one has fallen victim just yet. And the Slovenians are wrapping around until the knockout comes in. And the Guinevere picks up a kill. Del Rosario coming out massive, getting the turtle as well. And the Filipinos are not done. Going again, taking out Visao. And now it will be Clyde just for good measure. Double kill for Del Rosario. Disaster for the Slovenians. Oh my god, it's disaster for Slovenia because they, they failed to get the turtle. They failed to contest the turtle here. So they lose a lot of uh, things just now in the top lane. and. 
Philippines, they are still trying so hard to keep giving a pressure. Meanwhile, the top lane is going to be a solo kill towards Dev Head Up. Whoa. And will be get shredded with Bonnie at the bottom lane. Plays all over the map here from both these teams. Araki with a solo kill, but on the bot side, the Filipinos have taken out or zoned away members from Slovenia and they are taking some gold. Although you can see that Clyde wants to try and stop this turret take or at least deny the gold coming into the pockets of Soriano. Conversion coming in from Rimuru, coming in from that mid lane, but it will be a bit too late as we are back to the default. And you can see that Del Rosario actually mm -hmm. has the Demon Slayer and he has the ooh, tank build. But here we see, we see that Bonnie is targeted. He gets taken out. That was a very, very good flicker. I'm about a combo by Villa Luna. Yeah, meanwhile, Villa Luna trying to cover Soriano, who looks very, very low. And Slovenia also don't want to take a risk to just, you know, keep giving a pressure because we know how strong Zoriano as well with Oof. this 1-1. One, one. Meanwhile, there's a stun coming from Emo with the energy impact and the curse of blood comes from Clyde trying to shut down Emo at the backline, but I think it's kind of a little bit hard for him. It's very too difficult, but the Feather Airstrike is available again. Imam pops it up. Visau? Look at that. Visau is a bit too aggressive. Gets knocked up. Gets taken out into the hands of Soriano. And they're not done yet again. Bonnie is the next target. And the crossbow of Tang is popped up. That's a double for Soriano. And in the mid lane, Ooh. yet an, again, action all over the place. The Philippines are out for blood. <laughs> yeah, I think they are still looking for more RSC because, you know, with the pressure they have right now, with this Parsia and also with this Guinevere and they are keep snowballing in since in the early game. Misao is able to take the purple buff back though, so that's fortunate for him. But they are not out of the fire just yet. The gold difference is building up and the turtle is up as well. The Philippines are still trying to bait, trying to make a play happen in the bot side instead. Knowing that the Slovenians have had a tendency to actually trade objectives instead. Yeah. Meanwhile, the next objective will be this uh, turtle in the, our first four minutes. Meanwhile, Rimuru Ooh. is already being chased away by the member of Philippines. Look at the town and also the ammo that comes from Villa Luna. It obviously will make so Rimuru cannot run from it. Ooh, the Freezer's Wrath being used as well. That is a large damage on Visao and that's a double kill taken by Dapadap. And he is going in for Clyde just for hit measure. That will be a killing spree picked up by Del Rosario on that tank oh. Guinevere as Arachiel is forced to flicker yet again. A battle spell being used defensively instead of aggressively for this Kaja. Oh my god, now Philippine, they did. They don't want to give a chance at all to make Slovenia can do free rotation here, right? Because they, they, they have to secure Ooh, their airstrike. jungle. But Federal Astrak and burst damage coming from this Farsia. Multi done Bonnie. Bonnie with five deaths right now, definitely a very tough situation. It's a repeat of game number one. Soriano just getting out of control and Bonnie getting absolutely shut down. As Arakio here tries to make the winning play, goes with a divine judgment, but it won't be enough. Actually, he gets taken very, very low as Dapadap just moves back and starts going for a roll, perhaps. Okay, and now the crossbow of tank pops up as well from uh, Zoriano. It makes Clyde with the Curse of Blood cannot do much here. Meanwhile, we know how strong Dapadap in the uh, top lane. Ooh. And Royal Rosario, I think, drove too much, uh, but he still He's able alive. to survive. And even the cover comes from Philippine. It makes that the old Rosario still able to join the team fight in the mid lane and secure the top, the mid turret. Two kills for the Philippines, but Visao was able to escape with his life. Very fortunate for him, but one more turret taken away from the hands of the Slovenians and the jungle control now will be absolutely contested as the Filipino members are going for this orange buff. But wait a minute, Visao tries to make a play, it won't be enough. And now both teams are just waiting for an opportunity as the Federal Airstrike is being used by Imam. He won't be able to burst anyone low enough, but Arakiel, one of the main engage tools, will no longer be able to actually mount a resistance in the front line. I'm offended though, being used onto Bonnie, and that is her falling down yet again. Shadow Q is being used by Visal, but unfortunately, not enough damage, not enough resources, and Arakiel just overseas in the top side, gets taken out off camera. Oh my god, now there's. They're, it's it's already like five turrets from for Philippines, and Ooh. now they're still looking for more. Rimuru tried to defend the top lane here, but it's not gonna be easy because 
four, five members from Philippines, they already keep giving a pressure again. They don't want to give any. I can say maybe. Uh, oh, oh, hang what? on. There we go. Visao oh, makes the big play. It. Takes he up Villa it. Luna. Yeah. So not exactly the ideal target. He's alone though right now. Dap for dap. As well as Soriano wants vengeance. They go in. Soriano aiming to go for a crossbow of tank perhaps. He needs to be very careful though as the Koopa gets sent out. Clyde is very, very low. But Dap for dap alone will be able to zone the rest of the members from the side of Slovenia. And force up the Brilliance Order as well. Both teams back away. But the Filipinos, they're just going for those turrets. Yeah, I know, right? And look at that. Now, we, we we will see the same thing over and over again because now Slovenia, they have to defend their base. The Dapadap is going to be the frontliner. Ooh, cross -walk and cross -walk tank. Tank. Goes in. That's a godlike for Soriano. That's a double triple kill. kill. That might oh. be a triple kill. Not just quite yet. And now, with two members down, can the Slovenians defend from this assault? The range game, the burst game, the crowd control oh. is just so strong for the side of the Philippines. They're trying their best to try and get a pickoff, but it won't be available just yet. The middle base turret is the main target for the Filipinos, and they will be able to secure it. But what next? The goal oh. with the armor find the flicker combo that is born oh. taken out of the equation again. The knockup coming in from Rodel Rosario. The, level, the legendary, the double kill coming in from Imam as well. All the burst damage poured into the members of Slovenia, the Filipinos trying to end this game strong. They go in again, trying to secure the final kill onto Clyde. He will be able to survive. Not quite though. Rimuru left alone, watching four members, five members on the Filipino team going for the end. The Lord comes in just as a celebratory measure and that will be the Filipinos coming out on top. Wow, Philippines secured the two and zero against Slovenia. And Slovenia is going to be our second region that has to say goodbye Aww. but good game will play for slovenia and philippines they still continue their journey